today I have the pleasure of speaking with Colin Moore from Westward Gold. How are you today, Colin? I'm doing well, Tracy. Thanks for having me on again. Well, of course, we're going to invite you on. You seem to be defying gravity, more like Northward Gold. So we want to do an interview <laughs> and find out what you're doing right and why people are lining up and positioning with you now. What do you think? Yeah, so I mean, there's there's no uh, there's no secret formula necessarily, but what I can say is, in our last round of financing, we um, we got in a lot of strategic guys who have now become ambassadors for our story moving forward. So a lot of writers, a lot of influential brokers that are finally starting to kind of make some noise, and that um, you know happened to coincide uh, with a pretty pretty brutal sell off in the market. So we were able to weather that storm and we've done a, a ton of volume too over the last kind of two weeks the volume's really been picking up um in the states as well we traded uh close to a million shares on our otc listing last week which was unheard of um so i think a lot of guys are um trying to get themselves positioned prior to uh our drill campaign which is just about to kick off in about three weeks now so we're really excited about that and happy to have all these uh new names in the story. And like I said, our ambassadors are out there, shareholders are out there uh, making some noise for us. Westward goal to be featured in short form documentary series airing in the US. Could it be that you're in a, in a documentary? What is this about? Yeah, so that was, uh, that was something that we filmed um, back in December in Nevada, and it was totally out of the blue. So um, there's this series called uh, Viewpoint with Dennis Quaid, and it's an educational short form documentary series. Um, and they do it all, all multi-sector. They do it on healthcare, uh, you know, financial markets, uh, airlines, what have you. Um, so they were looking to do a piece on um, on early stage exploration in the United States. Um, so we got an inbound from them. And honestly, when I when I first saw it, I thought it was you know like one of these other dozens of uh, unsolicited inbounds I get every day, promising the world. Um, but it actually ended up being being really cool. So they had a you know a professional film crew that came down to site. Um, we did a bunch of interviews, uh, and then the result of that was this kind of five-minute documentary that's going to be airing on all the major networks uh, down in the States starting around the time that we start drilling. So it should be uh, starting in June, which is going to be great exposure for us. I can't stress enough the advantages of creative marketing. So I'm, I'm loving that update. But speaking of correlations with really good stock movement, you put out an, a very thorough uh, recap of your last 12 months activities, a wonderful idea for any public company, but then you did a nice entree into your drilling program, which I know you're dying to tell us about. So let's yeah. talk about your drilling program. Sure. Yeah. So, um, we got 4,000 meters planned over 12 to 15 holes. It's going to be reverse circulation drilling. Um, we're really uh, testing the lateral extents of what's the, uh, you know, the historical deposit that we have at our flagship, which is Toyabi. Um, so the historical resource is there. We kind of know what it is. It's not the most exciting part of our property, but it does provide a good backstop for value. So we know there's gold there. We've started to understand through all of these other programs that you mentioned um, in our, you know, our big annual recap that we just did. Um, explaining all those programs. Uh, so we, we feel like we have a good sense of the relationship between um, the past producing mine that's right on our border and all the other mineralization that we're seeing in the area now. So we're really going out to test those theories and step out um, from that resource and prove that, you know, this is a widespread system over uh, multi-kilometer strike length and not just the little tiny resource that um, prior operators had defined. So where I wanted to go with this next call, and of course, is that we're seeing some in interesting and intriguing indicators over at Investor Intel that people are looking at gold exploration companies as investment opportunities in this uh, uh, challenging market presently. Can you tell those out there who may not be familiar with Westward Gold, although they're going to be all running to Twitter to see pictures of you and Dennis Quaid together, can you tell me <laughs> three reasons why your gold exploration story should be at the top of their list. And, and just as an aside, I, I know the three reasons. I'd love for you to recap them for our audience, please. So I, jurisdiction and location, um, we're in prime real estate. We're surrounded by uh, massive producing mines. 
uh, mostly owned by Barrick, Newmont, Anglo, um, you know, the big boys. We've we've secured a 40 square kilometer land package right in the heart of that trend. So location, location, location. I know it's a super big cliche in the industry, but but it really is. Um, it, it makes life a lot easier for for us. Um, we're applying new technologies to old ground. So we're really taking a step back. Um, and I think that comes through in the last press release we, we put out the big recap, just how much work we've actually done in the last year. And a lot of that is getting fresh eyes and putting fresh theories on, on old data. Um, the knock on Nevada is, oh, you know, if it's, if it's been, <laughs> if it was there, it would have been found by now. And that's simply not the case. And I think a lot of new discoveries continue to be made to this day. Um, and then another one would be would be the people we've assembled we've assembled a, a really good veteran team um, of exploration ge geologists, some of whom you know came out of retirement uh, to be involved with this story, um, and they're really they're really digging their teeth into this and are very excited about the program. And I'm not a geologist, but when I see geologists who've made multi multiple Carlin type discoveries get excited, then that makes me excited. I must confess that it is a very unique element that you're talking about ambassadors, collaboration and teamwork. So on that note, thank you so much, Colin. It's Colin Moore from Westward Gold. Thank you for joining us. Nevada location close to proximity to Barrick. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. And please join us frequently. Thank you, Colin. We, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be uh, keeping the market updated uh, very frequently as we move forward here. So stay tuned.